Okay, so the goal for today is to give a nice soft beach wave that'll last me three to four days without compromising the integrity of my hair because the ultimate goal is to grow it super, super long. So being a processed blonde, I need to take really good care of it. So first, this is how my hair is prepped. I did a deep conditioner, I did the leave-ins, and then I just blow dried my root, let my mid shaft and ends air dry, and then I did two French braids last night and slept in it. I took it out today and I put a little bit of hair oil in it to keep it nice and soft. So the bend that you see in here is from my two French braids. And that is a nice thing because it's gonna help with creating texture and movement in the overall beachy look. So first I'm going in with Tress's Heat Guard. It smells like cherry almond. It smells so good. I'm gonna go in with a one inch wand. The reason I'm going in with a wand instead of a flat iron or a curling iron is because a flat iron and curling iron has two heat plates, which means I'm gonna have heat on both sides of my hair, which is gonna be more damaging. Where the wand, because I'm wrapping and twisting, not all parts of my hair are gonna be covered in heat, which is good, because that means I'll have less heat damage in the long run and the odds of me constantly, every single week, grabbing the same exact hairs is gonna be very unlikely. So it's gonna give my overall hair a good chance of growing out, staying healthy, and not getting heat damage. So I'm not gonna section my hair. I am actually gonna leave it all down. I wanna create length, so I am not gonna curl my under hairs at all. And I like that I kinda have like this blunt line right here, cause you can see this is where my French braid where I had the ponytail, I tied it off right here. So my ends are straight and that's perfect. I hold the tail out. And while it's cooling, I pull it down into place. I'm gonna alternate curling back and forth. I am actually gonna curl the bang towards my face because when I curl it back, it's gonna go against really the beachy look and I wanna create volume in my bang. So curling it towards my face like a Marilyn Monroe lift is going to be perfect. And then for my under part, I will just grab Random pieces. I like to go the opposite of whatever is above it. This is actually right in the middle of a forward and backward. I'm gonna go towards my face. This hair is going forward. This is underneath it. So I'm gonna go the opposite way. This technique is awesome. And every single night I throw my hair, I put hair oil in and then I throw it into two French braids. And so every day I have kind of like a different look and it doesn't look like a curling iron or a wand did it. It looks very, very natural beachy wave. And then it also kind of like refreshes the look and allows me to go about four days in between shampooing my hair, which is really good for my overall hair health is the ultimate goal. So the reason why I'm not sectioning my hair off is because if I if I section my hair off and have even sections, it's not going to look as undone as I want it to. It'll look more uniform. So that's why I'm grabbing pieces that I just feel like need to be curled so it'll look a lot more natural. I'm 
gonna use a little bit of Kenra hairspray. It just has such good hold and it smells amazing. And this is it. You can see it took less than 10 minutes to curl. It looks awesome. It's gonna keep my hair super, super healthy. And I can go a good week almost in between shampoos. Let me know if you try it. Tag me in your hairstyle. Enjoy the rest of your day.